So you would like to have multiple services running without having to worry about any ports? Well, use a reverse proxy and that's what we're gonna show you today. So what it will do is it will go through our client and then our server. Um, in our server, Caddy will say, hey, so since this is domain nextcloud.example.com, um, it will have to go to our next cloud. Say it's jellyfin.example.com. Well, then it will go to jellyfin. We're using Caddy in particular because we want also an SSL certificate. Yes, via, for example, Nextcloud, you can generate automatically an SSL certificate. But Jellyfin would be a whole different can of worms that it's just way easier to use a service like Caddy. So over an HTTP connection without an SSL certificate, say a client sends a file to our Nextcloud. Well, say there is a third party in between it in this, in this case, or hacker. Um, they can pretty much just intercept it, grab the file, and they will have our file. What an HTTPS does is it will encrypt pretty much the data. So instead of what the hacker gets is um, our file.txt, it will get some random string of numbers that is not, be, is not able to be deciphered. All right, illustration time is over. Let's actually go in and... So first what you need is to actually already have a, a Nextcloud set up. What we're going to do in this video is just set up Caddy to work with Nextcloud. So we're going to install Caddy, we're going to configure it, and then show you what you need to do in Nextcloud to actually make it work. All right, so first to install Caddy, we just run sudo apt install Caddy. Just put in your password. So Caddy is now installed. So what we now would want to do is make our Caddy file. Caddy supports two different file formats, JSON and Caddy. Caddy is a little more limited, but it will be way easier and it will serve the purpose uh, that we want today is just a simple reverse proxy. So we do that by doing nano caddy file with a capital C. Don't worry about directories, just put it in your home folder. Uh, we're going to point caddy to our caddy file um, in the home folder once we're going to run it. So inside of the caddy file, you want to type the following, which is going to be your domain. So in this case, I'm going to do cloud.example.com. Fancy brackets, enter. Now we're going to type, first we're going to do a tab, reverse, underscore proxy, space, and then and then the IP address where we're hosting the next cloud along with the port number. Now, if you're hosting it on the same machine as Caddy, you're just going to be able to put in localhost. But we're going to change the port of next cloud after this because so Caddy requires to have port 80 and port 443 to be open. So we're going to just have to change that inside of next cloud. So since Nextcloud is running on the same machine for me, I'm going to do localhost colon 8081. That's going to be the port that I'm changing it to. You can change it to a different port. This is just what I'm doing right now. I'm going to hit enter. Another curly brackets. Once we have that inside of the caddy file, we're going to press control O, enter, control X to exit. So before we're going to adapt caddy to our caddy file because it's going to automatically run we're going to have to make some changes inside of nextcloud um specifically um so 
we're running this. So this tutorial is specifically for the snap version of Nextout. It's gonna work similarly in in the all-in-one and um, normal versions of Nextcloud. You just have to change the look up the commands, change the commands. So we're gonna clear the terminal. We're going to type in sudo snap sat next cloud ports.http. It's gonna be 8081 like we typed in before. And we're gonna also change the ports for HTTPS because that's what Caddy needs. And if you have anything running on ports 443 or ports 80, Caddy will throw you an error saying there is already something in use. So I made a typo. It's not port, it's ports.http. And then ports.https equals 4344. So again, this is specifically for the snap version of Nextcloud. Now we're going to hit enter. You, you saw it did something. Now, if we would check on our Nextcloud, it would say um, it, without changing any ports, it doesn't work. You have to put in colon and then the port. After we've set the ports, we're going to just restart Nextcloud by doing snap restart Nextcloud. Or sudo, sorry, sudo snap restart next node. Since we're running Ubuntu, our firewall is going to be UFW, and we're going to have to allow ports 80 and ports 443. So we do that by doing sudo UFW allow 80 and then allow 443. Now that we have next node on a different port, let's adapt a caddy to work. Uh, with our caddy file in our home directory. We do this by doing caddy adapt dash dash config slash home slash our user. In this case, it's caddy and then caddy file. If you have it in a different directory, put it in a different directory. If you don't want to adapt it to a different directory and you want to use the default one, it's going to be slash etc slash caddy. And then caddy file. So now we're going to do sudo caddy start. And you will see it says it has successfully started. So now that it is started, I assume you already have the ports forwarded. You only have to port forward 443. Um, now we have to go to your host provider and we're going to have to make an A record. I'll show you how to do it in Cloudflare and I'll show you how to do it in Porkbun. All right, so that one's going to be blurred because I don't want to show you guys all my emails and my domains. So we're going to go to our domain that we want to host this on that we have put into our Kali file. We go down here to DNS and then records. We're going to add a new record. Inside of here, you put whatever you had in your, uh, in your Kali file for me was cloud. And then here you put in your home IP address. You can get your home IP address by Googling what's my IP. You will get your home IP address. After you do that, make sure if you're doing it through Cloudflare and any other provider that allows proxying, turn off proxying. If you do have proxying enabled, you will only have a 100 megabyte um, upload limit uh, per file. You just don't want that. Cloudflare has protection built into it uh, against uploading big files. It's technically against TOS to have proxied or zero trust encrypt um, cloud floor, cloud storage. So just turn off proxy and you'll be good. If you are using Cloudflare, also go into SSL slash TLS. And go into overview here, go into configure and change it to full strength. If you have, by default, it is on flexible. If it's on flexible by default, you will not be able to connect to your next cloud. It will say error 522 uh, or 422. It cannot connect, um, it doesn't see the server. So just make sure it is on full strength. 
once you have done that, you can actually go to the website. All right, so once you have done that, you can actually go into your next load. And now it should all be reverse proxy port forwarded and it should just work. Now I will show you how to do it in pork bun. Uh, same here, a lot will be blurred. You go into DNS records. Here, again, you'll make an A record. And this will be your subdomain that you chose. Again, for me, it was cloud. And the answer will be your IP address. You click on add. Within a few minutes, you'll be able to go to your next file, but it will throw an error that it does not trust the domain. If you have that error, you have to go back into the terminal. I will clear the terminal. All right, so when you're back into the terminal and you have that error, you type in sudo nextcloud.occ config colon system colon set trusted underscore domain domains um i will do one because this will allow you to still use the local ip address to access it so hit one dash dash value equals quotes cloud.example.com for me uh for you it might be it, it's a different it's just put in your subdomain whatever you put in caddy and then your domain so once you run it it will say that it set it to one is going to be your domain and now if you refresh the page i will show it so now if you refresh the page it will work and i will show you that right now so as you can see if we refresh the page there we go it will remove the error and now we're able to log in that's what i'm gonna do right now admin admin very easy so we're not completely done yet because now when we go to the website yes it will work um but it will keep putting us on, on HTTP and that can cause a lot of problems. It will basically make it so the website does not function. So what we do then is we do sudo nextcloud.occ config colon system colon set overwrite protocol dash dash value equals you will see it logs me in because I've already logged in before and now when I move around with the files it should keep me on HTTPS and as you can see secure connect we have a let's encrypt SSL certificate so if this video has helped you do the normal stuff like subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments or join the discord so I can help you real time and I hope you have a amazing day